always been a bean pole, but I think yeah. Alana and I very much mirror mom and dad's body. Yeah, I have dad's body for sure. Like we're just thicker. Is that the nice word? What's the nice word for us? We're solid. Sturdy. We're strong. Yeah. <laughs> strong. I'll go with strong. But I respond really well to exercise. So I know when my jeans start getting tight, I just have to make sure that I'm extra disciplined. And so it is kind of nice when you actually have that catalyst to remind you like, oh yeah, those jeans don't fit so great. I don't want to go shopping and spend $80 because I'm frugal like mom, <laughs> so I better get to the gym and uh, lift my weight. So yeah, I think that that's a way that I've had to stay ahead of things. I feel like I got like dad's like anal retentiveness about like family vacation planning. Like I am someone who now like I need to know at least 10 restaurants that we could go to on any given block in any city that I might visit. All of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm having a flash like that. That is yeah. dad. You do, yeah. I think that you just observe things over time and then you realize that you've slowly become your parents in some <laughs> way, shape, or form. I don't think I succeed, but mom is very much like wants to make sure everybody's okay and happy, which almost is to the detriment of people being happy sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But I think I do that too. Like, mom, chill out, we're happy. <laughs> Leave me alone. You're me happy. <laughs> Total bashing myself. I got cankles. Totally. Dad has like these tiny little skinny ankles that are amazing. Well, his look, his look skinnier yeah, because he has, he has big calves. calves. Yeah, he's like biker calves. Yeah. And then I got skinny moms. I just pictured like really tiny weights. Like that you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to trim my waistline. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> you're measuring with like a centimeter like ruler. Oh. I definitely inherited mom's body. Like I'm naturally skinny. Yep. But I have... I believe it's, it's called a pear shape. In the, in the textbooks. Yes. And that's something I'm like fighting against now. You definitely got dad's hairline, that's right. for sure. I think that getting out ahead of it, using Rogaine foam, trying to add some, you know, extra confidence to myself. I've been pretty bad about using Rogaine lately. I just got a new job. My wife and I bought a house. And that's so exciting. So life gets in the way. Starting today, I definitely need to be better about using it every day, twice a day. Consistency is key, right? Yep. I think there was some kind of stigma in my head around it that maybe it was uh, something that did, you know, say that you're older or indicate that you're you know, really losing your hair. You kind of ignored it at first, but you know, once you do use it, it's, it's like going to the gym or it's like maybe getting some clothes that fit you better that it's just going to be part of your overall aesthetic that is going to increase. Brian and I have started doing this a little more frequently. like. Hey, I'm gonna lock the door in our basement. We have a little gym in the basement. Like, give me 30 minutes to work out for me. Don't let a kid in. I like the locking the door. I, well, you have thing. to because <laughs> Cora has a trampoline in there and she likes to work out with me, except I'm doing push ups and she's crawling underneath me, you know, and it makes the push ups a lot easier. Um, but probably not as beneficial. So I feel like I just need to be more committed to working out for me. I think for me, it's also about like, like metaphorically locking the room. <laughs> And like getting away and not, you know, kind of feeling like I have to do all of the things for everybody else and then and then kind of count myself last. So, I mean, even if it's not about um, improving my fitness or improving my like physical health, and you know, I think that being able to get ahead of feeling frazzled, which is like something it's I feel that all the time. It's piece, right? It's yes. become this buzzword, but it is, it is legit. Yeah. It's like really yeah. real. Like, mindfulness, like wellness, like, wellness, yeah, well, it's real. And, yeah. <laughs> and if you don't have it, like that's, yeah. Should be yeah. the name of your memoir, Locking the Room. Locking the Room, <laughs> the metaphorical room. We're gonna do it. <laughs> Hair, gym, gym, lock the room. Lock the room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Challenge accepted. See you in a few months, Megers. Do you think that you can tell when a guy has made more of an effort? Yeah, you get a whiff of something good. When yeah, you hug them <laughs> for sure. Um, and if they like, if you can tell they like just brush their teeth. Do we really think brushing your teeth is an extra step? <laughs> Matters that you're making an effort, that you're trying. Effort is everything.